Hi guys, back to another review. Today I will be reviewing the Slash 2x4. And I'll be showing you guys my setup on this thing also. So yes guys, let's start with the review. Before you do that, like and subscribe my video. So, let's see how the car looks outside. This is a Nappa edition. I'm running on the on little Kumos. It's a BFG, but it's actually Kumos on these ones. These are really nice ball line silvers. This is a slush tool drive. This is an app edition, I think. This this has some really nice stickers. Especially that I added this one and some little stickers on that will matter. See, I know there's some little stuff right there. That's because of the nuff bar is rubbing on it. That protects the body from hitting into side crashes. I added some bit of tape here. Yeah, although this body is a bit wrecked, it's still a good body. This thing is like a good champ. It looks so clean and new. This is number 7155. It doesn't mean the number car, but it means the number of the race team. This is Napa, Ch Napa chassis body. Looking into the rear, it looks as pristine as the tough enough. It has that nice look of a race replica for the slash. It looks really classic. Yes, this is and now let's look at the un under it. In this car we can see a Titan 12 T. I'll be linking this model in the in the in the description below. But it, it, it ain't gonna be the Napa edition, it'll be the normal edition, current edition. It has this antenna, but the newer models have the low antennas, right? Like they're much more or less. You can, you can see enough, but that's why the other was scratching on these ones. Uh, we got the uh, ESC electronic speed control. You just press it. There. Green lights means that means the control ain't connected. But when that flash red, the control connects. That's our battery holder. This is my Dean connectors there. Uh, um, yeah, I got a snail while ago. It has some nice Kumos. Still neon, this thing is still neon, like, wow. I I put it some, like, little shock spacers, I can say shock spacers, in the front, in the rear only. You have your big body mount and your shock tower right here. Battery tray, and this is my battery. I run on 2S, since it's a really good model, but 2S. Um, you got the front front bumper with a bumper support it's the shocks and a front body mount um you got your servo right here you got your receiver in here esc motor plugs to esc in this motor right there around here right there there is the you know there's the you know um the transmission right the transmission you got your rear bumper you can see it's really stupid steam of this bumper yeah look at that. When it means red, it's on limp mode. But right now I'm looking on losing on lipo, lipo mode. So it must be green. If it's not, if it's red and blinking, we well, gotta change the modes. Um, yeah, it's really pristine. This has a cover gearbox, but I, I but I'm fixing this, so that is not like that. I can't from the front of the. It's really weak of a car, but it's a still of a care of a car. It's something like really nice car, like. This is something like from the teen numbers, like it's gonna let's get like a short cost truck. It ain't a monster truck, it ain't a stadium truck, it's a short cost model. And again guys, I'm linking this in the description below. And we I'll be putting the link that I where I got it from. This is, I got it from Canada, so yeah, it's just right around me. Um oops. So yes guys, I have to flip over here. Let's flip over here. So if you can see that, oh wow, okay. See guys, I have the flip over here, but you can see enough balls again. It looks like I got the have to say down. Upside down, upside down, upside down, upside down, upside down, okay. Funny got you go, you're steering servos. You got your razor, razor axles there. This is a two drive model, and not a four by four model. I'll be doing a review on a four by four model. You can see the stuff over here, you see? Yeah, yeah, it's really when you need car and say, 
And yes, that, I kind of broke that off, I can say. You kind of broke that off. Like, it's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be in it. You got your skip plates. And your server is right there, just picking it out. And there's a bit of scratchiness, but it's a durable cause. It lasts around two or five years without breaking it. Like, the nap of the chalk. Still doesn't get really look pristine of it. Oh yeah, it's not focusing. Okay, so guys, um, if you like the video, like and subscribe the video, and yeah, uh, love the video, share it with your friends, and yes, we'll see you guys in another video. Bye bye.